Well, hello, hello, y'all. It's Latka, here today with some Victoria 3. Uh, last episode was a bit of a, uh, intense one. Um, Great Britain was taken over by a capitalist revolt, although that hasn't... I was very worried at the time that that would, uh, push me out of the British market, and if that had happened, this would be over. Uh, I don't have the industry or the fleets to be able to support myself. <laughs> so that was a very big worry of mine at the time, but we are still part of the British market. We are still sending them money. Uh, it's great. I love that. Love giving Great Britain money. Um, but yeah, also we have a revolution brewing. Uh, we're trying to pass proportional taxation, which has a great success chance. Um, we have an election in a two months and a half. And, you know, we're in a deficit. Um, it's great. I love it. We're, oh, hey. Yes. One of you brought up that I was subsidizing a place still, and it looks like it is the railway and some livestock ranches, probably here in Northern Cape. Um, so we could get rid of this. It looks like they're doing pretty well. Uh, let's unpause that. I don't believe that. That's crazy. It could be because I'm subsidizing it. I'm not sure. But that's that's pretty crazy if that's like the number one livestock ranch in the world. Okay, yeah, it's just because... Yeah, there we go. Unpausing it. A little buggy there, but we got it. Uh, yeah, that makes much more sense. So, and we're only in a hole by 989 pounds a week. So we still have a decent gold reserve. Um, what's our legitimacy at? 43%, not that great. Um, who has a... So... Everyone's pretty happy with me. Uh, besides the trade unions and the church is feeling a little, a little negative, but not by much. But they're still like, the trade unions are leading the charge in the revolution. But the rural folk, who are neutral with us, are like, yeah, I guess I'll join in. And then the landowners, what? Are absolutely furious. Oh, are they marginalized? Where the heck are they? About 2.6, yeah, they're marginalized really hard. Um, trade unions have 11.8% clout. We're going to cost uh, 200. I have 162. We're going to suppress them. Uh, the only way to free up would be emergency relief to cancel that, which frees up a little money but increases our radicals. Uh, so, oh man, things aren't looking so hot. Uh, but we'll fix it. I think. Excuse me, I think we can. I believe in myself. I believe we can. We can do this. It was just a very serious uh, turn of events last episode. Let's unpause this and get it going. That uh, kind of put us into some pretty nasty turmoil. But that's okay. That's okay. Coal is expensive. Mana wars are... We have no market access up there. That's fine, honestly. Um, that was absolutely shortened because I do believe our institution went up. Sure did. Uh, we're still in the clear with bureaucracy. That's pretty good. Um, these are going down, but the railway is pretty expensive. Ah, and the gold fields run out. <laughs> We're not getting more radicals, so minus 50% migration is fine. Oh, what a time for it to run out, though, you know? What a time. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, okay. So... We get rid of that. That frees up a little money. 
Uh, if we get rid of this, it frees up 66 pounds. Am I going to have to push this to high? Even then, it's still... 50% radicals, minus 10% legitimacy. I'm already at 42. Huh. Huh, okay, so... We have the election. The only... Oh, I guess the uh, revolution went away. There in a second, that's nice. We found some more gold. Hey, there we go. Spread the word. And uh, boost it up. Okay, so... That saves us a little. It's not going to push us back into the positive. Um, because we had five gold fields, now we have three. Uh, but it will loose, uh, lessen the uh, impact. Um, yeah. Still pretty bad. Not good. But we need... We need a port here, unfortunately. So that's going to... Take up quite a bit of money. Um, it can't be funded, right? No, it can be funded. Okay. Yeah, we'll push that through. See if we can't get a port there and then make it a little profitable there. Um, we just need market access there. So, that'd be really good. We got some coal mines. That's good. Peasants there. It's going to be a long time before... Honestly, actually... Honestly, actually... That's not going to help us. Um, campaign financing. Parties, particularly the Patriotic Party, are struggling to raise enough funds for their for all their campaigning needs this election. Um, well, I can't give anyone money. So, minus 10% momentum for the... Patriotic Party. But we do have an election here. And the Patriotic Party won again. Losing power. I I can't boost our military again, though. Um, just can't. It's at 67%. It's uh, supported by... The armed forces. So the armed forces need to stay in the government. Absolutely have to. Uh, who can give us a little bit of legitimacy? Industrialists could. But do they oppose? I don't think they oppose this, yeah? Very high. Supported by two interest groups. Portiqued bourgeoisie and the armed forces. Um, if we toss in the petites, what happens? Oh, it's the Radical Party. But it gives us a bit more legitimacy. We can do that. Um, gives us a little bit of leeway. Uh, to, if we need to, if we absolutely need to. Um, okay. Freedom, equality, and brotherhood. The intelligentsia under the leadership of Theobald Denison has ushered in an era of liberal politics that promises a freer society where all citizens have a part in the political process. Uh, Denison is a fearless visionary, which gives him the liberal trailblazer trait, which gives him 50% popularity. And then we get freedom of trade or freedom of and freedom of thought. A thought to Cape Colony, both of which we're not going to do. Um, who's Johannesburger? Landowner, reformer? Um, this might actually be really good for the landowners because they usually. Like, get very angry. Um, and who is this? This is the petite bourgeoisie. Uh, we're going to change 
Johannesburger from a pacifist to a reformer. Uh, the pacifists, you know, they really want national militia and no colonial affairs, which is making the uh, landowners a little angry with my colonial affairs program. Uh, but if we change that to reformer, it'll lessen his opposition to colonial affairs and uh, reduce the amount of radicals on the way from that. So, plus he likes cultural exclusion. He's neutral towards multiculturalism, which is the ultimate goal. Um, he's neutral towards legal guardianship, legal guardianship, woman in the workplace, and women's suffrage. Um, we would have to change children's rights. Pretty... Uh, that's the only thing that we have right now that he would oppose. So, yeah, this is a good decision right there. All right, let's unpause. Unused construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What should I do here? I feel like we build a textile mill. Yeah, we build it. Well, actually, let's check real quick if it's better over here. 1.14, 1.14, 1 1.14, so it don't matter. Um, I do have more of a peasant base and unemployed sector over here than I do on the Eastern Cape and Northern Cape. So we'll build it here and pray. <laughs> Pray this knocks us out of our negative. I can always raise taxes again uh, to very high taxes, but that would be... That'd be bad. That'd be brutal. That's the last straw, you know? Right now, it's not too bad. Um, but we'll see what happens. Wallanonian migration to inner Morocco. Oh. So the gold field's depleted, but we found some gold mines. Okay, okay. We can we can handle that. It's not quite as good as gold fields, but it is uh pretty dang good still. So we want those gold mines up and running. Uh opium addiction. Zosa people are experiencing severe effects of opium addiction. The use and abuse of the substance has spread throughout Eastern Cape. Tragic. Um, well, that's... That's really not good. Minus 2 standard of living and plus 2% mortality. Among, okay. Crazy. I actually haven't seen this one happen before, so I'm going to read the uh, gray text as well. Um, the opium eater lies under the weight of incubus and nightmare. He lies in sight of all that he would fain perform. Just as a man forcibly confined to his bed by the mortal languor of a relaxing disease, who is compelled to witness injury or outrage offered to some object of his tenderest love, he curses the spells which, change, which chain him down from motion. He would lay down his life if he might get up and walk. But he is powerless as an infant and cannot even attempt to rise. Yeah, that's pretty tragic, man. Addiction's no joke. Hey, we got the rotary valve engine. So that'll uh, hopefully boost production in our mills. We're positive again. Um, I can't wait for the day when I can lower taxes and increase wages. Uh, but that might be a hot minute away. So let's find some research that we need. Dynamite would be good for the mines. In fact... We're going to research dynamite so that once we build gold mines, we can maximize um, maximize the production there. So, Because we do need some gold mines up and running. We'll probably just like... I want to say build all four at once, but we're not going to do that because that would be a massive drain on our gold reserves. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
It would be a massive drain and uh, eventually it would pay off for itself. But also at the same time, going into debt is bad because then you start accruing loan interest and then it just, it gets really hard to fall out of a, or come up out of a debt spiral. As uh, some of you may know from my uh, first two episodes of this series. <laughs> Didn't do so hot there. Didn't do so hot. But hey, is what it is. Build some stuff out here. Uh, tea is always good. British love their tea. Not enough qualifications, though. We would have to do mining or logging, and that's fine. Um, we do want to pump up our fishing wharves. Um, they're... Not a great source of money, but they do raise the standard of living because it makes food cheaper uh, for people to get. So, and we're, we've got a radical problem. We need some loyalists. We don't have the prestige. I don't have the money to... But if I could reset the timer, that'd be good. Can I, uh, ooh, ooh. Upgrading the port from a uh, cargo port to an industrial port. That would increase the need for steamers, but it wouldn't change the price of them much. Hmm. We'll think about it. We desperately need to upgrade our ports, though. That's something that's on my mind, is our ports. Because we need to start actually trading. Uh, it's my bad we haven't done it before, but I've been trying to get this dang economy in hand under get it wrangled and stay positive, but it's been it's been fighting me pretty hard. <laughs> this buck and bronco don't want to let go. Uh, but we'll break them. We'll break them. Our expansion is going well into Swana and Soto. Basuto? I'm not sure. Uh, but our textile mills are coming in. Let's check the furniture to see if rotary is better. It is not. Um, unfortunately, I think it's not better because it involves coal, and coal is very expensive right now. So that's just unfortunate. Oh, baby. We got proportional taxation. Which, if you noticed, uh, rewind a few seconds and watch my income skyrocket. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, okay. There we go. Landowners, pretty angry about this, but I've been um, suppressing them pretty hard. Probably can get rid of that, so I don't really care about their marginalized opinion. Um, perfect. This is... oh. This is just what we needed, because now I can lower taxes and raise wages. And we will hopefully start to get rid of our radical problem. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we can get rid... Um, am I... Oh, I'm suppressing the trade unions. Yeah, we can do that. We can get rid of that. Uh, let's see here. Is there anyone I want to bolster, or do I want to... No, I think we're good. But we do want to start enacting another law here. Um, probably... Child labor laws. Petite bourgeoisie, trade unions, and landowners. Are the petites not in there? They are, but... Okay. They don't really care. Would this radicalize anyone? It would. It would radicalize the Anglican Church. 
But we also don't care about the church's opinion. They're pretty cloutless. So we're going to start multiculturalism and hopefully that really brings everyone together and helps with our assimilation and radicalization. Uh, not that discrimination is a big one. It's only 3.03k from discrimination and our major problem is the standard of living. Uh, but you know, any little bit helps. Any little bit helps. So let's unpause this and get going. Oh man, I am so happy about that. Yeah. Proportional taxation. Uh, if you have an excessively divided nation where like you have a lot of people who are wealthy and a lot of people who are poor, but not a lot of people in the middle. Guess what? Proportional taxation is going to hit real hard and it's going to uh, skyrocket your radicals among the... Uh, wealthy class, but it's going to lower radicals among the lower class because they're no longer paying extreme taxes while the higher class is. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm very excited. This is so good. Radicals bouncing all over the place. That's okay. Freedom of conscience. Uh, oh yeah, we have state religion, huh? Let me check that out. Yeah, we want to change that eventually. That would be good, seeing as how we're moving in into Africa, where I don't believe the uh, <laughs> religion is Protestant. In fact, I highly doubt it's Protestant. Almost 99% sure. So, yeah. We'll want to change that to help out there. Okay. What's this? Ah, uh, yes, I've... I've become an insignificant power. Which, uh, threw out one of my goals was to not become an insignificant power, but I completely forgot we do, in fact, need to boost up the military, unfortunately. Hopefully this pops us up. 55, we need 59. So no, it doesn't. So once we uh, get a little more money in the system, we'll pop back up to uh, minor power so that we can hold a declared interest so that when we decide to um, declare independence, we're not absolutely just smashed by the British. We hopefully have some allies. So, yeah, that's the goal. Um, that's the goal. <laughs> we need to damage relations with all of these people. Because we need to go to war, but also we can't declare war because we're a puppet nation. It's really good. I love it. Yes. Things are finally looking up. Things are finally looking up. That's really good. Is there anything... I mean, obviously... Gold mines are next on the building menu. But what's on the technology menu? Uh, so, so, hey, we got our dynamite. Let's pause it real quick. We have central banking, which increases minting. Um, mutual funds might be something to go for. Not because of the publicly traded. I find that like increasing capitalists in your nation is a bad idea as Great Britain just found out. Um, they can really toss big wrenches into things. So we might as well go for minting, but let's check around just to see. Pump jacks, automatic irrigation is pretty good, but right now, like it, it gives a lot of money. Uh, but also remember that when you upgrade to automatic, you're laying off a lot of people and almost every single one of them will become a radical. So 
We are trying to avoid that. We might go for rubber mastication, but no. Uh, I think the best move right now is to get mutual funds, to get mutual funds and build our gold mines. So we'll just queue that right up. Okay, I think things are fairly stable here. We have nations in turmoil, or states in turmoil, excuse me. So let's see, uh, which ones are they? Eastern and Cape Colony. Emergency relief is 100 authority. And emergency relief there. Shortage of glass. That's really not good. But if I go from... I would... Fire 2,000 clerks, but get 2,000 laborers. Free up a little money. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, we'd save just a little money on it. Um, but I think we'll just keep doing how we're doing right now. Maybe we'll build our own glassworks. Oh, we have our own glassworks. We're still short on glass? That's a joke. Who's stealing my glass? Who is stealing my glass? Let's change these uh, explosives. We might have to build our own explosive factory as well. Okay. Um, let's see here. Simple ranch. That's because tools are expensive, I do believe. Yeah. Okay. Might want some logging camps eventually. We, I mean, we definitely need some logging camps. But we might just pop... Build some gold mines right here. And then pop in some fishing wharves but after the gold mine we might actually build another construction sector uh that would although it is nice to start building up the gold reserves again so maybe we'll wait a little we'll see what happens multiculturalism is about to tick and we have a 31.1 percent chance of passing it through um, pretty big chance of advancing it. Hey, there we go. Cultures will be accepted based on always. <laughs> okay, cool. That should really help with discrimination. Uh, I'm out of authority, so we need to cancel emergency relief somewhere. Uh, high tensions in all of my, um... Colonial places. Not unexpected. Uh, we have explosive shortage, mana war shortage. Yeah, that's fine. Is this growing at all? No, it's actually shrinking. We do need that port there to have it grow. The Zosa migration has uh, started migrating to Cape Colony. Well, that's nice. I do love... Ooh, Man of Wars. Right, right. Opium Addiction hits again. Gosh, dang it. That's two whole points of standard decrease. You know? It's brutal. Organized crime... <laughs> Criminal organizations have begun operating in Eastern Cape. It doesn't matter if we arrest one person or solve one crime. It will keep going unless we go all the way to the top. I'm sure the authorities can handle it. I can't take a 10% authority hit, so we have to take a money hit. That's brutal. What is going on, dude? <laughs> It's, uh, it's because of the turmoil. That's why. 
it, but it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we need to build our own explosives. So we need a chemical factory, which isn't the most like profitable stance, but there's a explosive shortage right now. Oh, they fixed it, but still, uh, it's always good to be ahead of the curve because we're going to have to uh, import some explosives to get the gold mines running anyway. So, uh, we'll have to get some explosives somehow anyway. So might as well, you know. Okay. I think things are running a little well. Let's check on the rest of the world. France is expanding, as we knew they would. America has not expanded, except for... I think they've gone a little deeper in there, there in Africa. Looks like South America... Ooh, they haven't uh, colonized the tip of it yet. It's the 60s. I can't believe it's still standing. New South Wales is eating into Noongar, I think, but not quite fully consumed it yet. So, yeah, world looks pretty stable right now. Yeah, see, explosives keeps popping in and out of good shortage. So if we want to use dynamite in our gold mines, we need to produce some of our own. Labor movement unlocked. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, unlocks restricted child labor and uh, diggers for the party. Some other laws. That'd be good. Let's check a. Let's take a quick look at our laws right now. Something that we can pass. Everyone hates this, so we're not going to do it just yet. We'll have to erode away at the uh, clout of the armed forces. They have the most clout of the opposition. Uh, so it would be really bad if we radicalize them, which this wouldn't radicalize them, but armed forces is part of the government, right? So like them having 24% clout means I'll probably never pass that law. So we're not even going to try. State religion, we might. I don't see a too big of a benefit from that. Um, I don't see too big a benefit. Home affairs might be good. Home affairs might actually really be good. Um, secret police. Just because... Well, let's just say I don't want radicals, okay? Maybe a National Guard. Maybe that would be a little better. But, like, the opinion changes are the same, no matter what. Plus 10 to, to those who endorse it. Minus 20 to those who don't. I think I think we go with National Guard. That's going to radicalize a, a decent chunk of people. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Okay. Is fixed anymore? No, coal is still very expensive. If I use explosives in my coal mines, how's that looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. We'll do that. And a steam donkey? We'd have to import some engines and we fire some people, so let's not do that just yet. Input goods. Expensive goods, glass, steel, and coal. Yeah. Do I have a steel mill? I do. Pretty sure I did, but 
You never know. That's a bonus, plus it puts people into jobs. Let's do that real quick. Sometimes, you know, like the most profitable decision is not the best decision. Uh, you want to make sure your people are in jobs. You want to make sure they're fed. And like giving them a good standard of life is, it's expensive. You know, it's expensive. So we will build this gold mine, build a chemical plant. And furniture's going down, huh? That's fine. Um, textile mills, come on now. Will we get rid of laborers? Mechanize looms. This would increase, but it would also lower the amount of clothes we're making. Um, so we... Like I just said, you know, we want people in their jobs, even though, like this, this increases the standard of living for the higher class because engineers and mechanists, machinists, excuse me, uh, gain more jobs, but the lower class laborers. Uh, lose out so the trade unions we are going to pop it up to dye workshops though no we'll go with sewing machines um, I want more clothes I need more clothes we lose a thousand laborers uh, but we're going to pump up some fishing wharves um, and see what we can do. See what we can do. I'm dropping some frames right now. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I haven't had this problem before. So, in fact, I'm going to call this episode right now, see if I can't figure this out. Um, but, hey, we had, a good, we had a good episode. Things went well. Things went well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Laka. If you liked what you watched, if you liked what you heard, you know, leave me a like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah. Leave me a comment on how I'm doing, if you want to. Uh, I think things are going well. We finally... Like, I feel like I'm finally leaving off in a good place instead of a constant little, like, oh, we're going to start this episode in a bad place. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's keep on going. Let's keep on trucking. See if we can't make South Africa happen. So, yeah. This is Latka. Thanks for watching.